here by popular demand, my van screen doors. Thank you to Matthew at Van Life Plus for showing the sneak peek on his channel. And if you haven't checked it out, which you probably have, but if you haven't, go do that now. Van Life Plus on YouTube. This van is like a ship. The animals must be contained as if they were water by opening and closing the doors. Hey, wonderful. <laughs> This is my van screen door set up to keep my inside animals in and also keep the bugs out. I made these screens with some pretty cheap and easy to find materials and they allow me to have the doors open and get some ventilation into the van while keeping my little fur babies safe from escaping and avoiding anything getting slammed in the doors. I also want to show you a screen that I have for separation between the cab and the cargo space. So if I need to open doors for loading or unloading things or for filling up the diesel for the heater, I can section the animals off to one area and not worry about anybody escaping. And there's also a bonus screen that I will show you for anyone who is traveling with cats and has concerns about them while they're driving. At my passenger side sliding door, I have a hinged screen door set up. It uses some pipe from an old rolling clothes rack uh, that I bent to shape, um, put a piano hinge on, and then some plastic kind of mesh fencing. Then I used all round and some screws to fasten it all together and to the van. So maybe opt for the plastic mesh if your pets are kind of rammy. I made part of the screen open up so that I could still open the door from the inside. And for now it just closes with friction, but maybe eventually I'll put a latch on it if my dog keeps opening it up. And then, because the openings on the plastic screen are kind of big, I actually put an additional screen over top just to keep the bugs out. And the additional screen is actually a dollar store tablecloth that I got around Halloween, so it's a little spooky themed. At the back barn doors, I use more dollar store tablecloth from Halloween and also use some zippers from some dollar store clothes bags that I attach with iron-on no-sew tape and to fasten it to the van without just tearing through the lace, I ended up using some old belts that I had kicking around the shop and screwed through those. I still needed to have access to my cooler and to the litter box, so I made a couple of panels, one removable and one that can fold out of the way. To separate the cab from the cargo bay, wouldn't you know it, it's another dollar store Halloween tablecloth. Uh, this time I used a zipper from an old ottoman and again used the iron-on no-sew tape to attach the tablecloth to the zipper and then use all around and screws to fasten that around to the van with a little bit of velcro across the bottom to seal off the animals and the bonus screen that still comes in handy every now and then because the animals sometimes get antsy i put a cut off piece of yeah the dollar store tablecloth over my lap and use some velcro to attach it to the van so that the cats can't get down by the pedals while I'm driving. So if you're worried about traveling with indoor cats, there are things you can do to minimize the stress and make things comfortable and safer for everyone. <laughs> 